yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson and we will be adding a image also first of all for our product detail and i have already created one package for that one so we don't have to create it from scratch so you can just go to my github over here and this is a day one image course you can i'll be adding the uh, link on the description you can take it from there and now uh, you can just go to this particular github repo and we will look into the getting started over here and okay so let me show you what we can do with this particular image course first of all so if you go down over here you have uh, so I have added some of the uh, GIF image over here. You can create a different kind of the uh, image cursor like you can add a different kind of the dot over here. You can add the counter over here and you can create a different kind of the dot over here like you have a lot of the customization over here. So you can take a look on this particular sample code over here. All right so you can have a um, bottom center top right so you can add a different kind of the configuration for each of your um, the dot as well as the counter of that particular image so what we'll do is we'll just grab the dependency from here so let me just copy this one from here and let's go back to our uh, dependency over here and i'll just go to my uh let me go to the pubspec.yml file over here and let us add the dependency down over here so here we need to add the dependency let me paste it below over here and once we have that let's go and call the um, flutter pub get so if pub get over here and let's get the dependency from here f pub get and that should be fine and once we have added that particular dependency let's close all of this and let's go to the widget and let's create a new file over here and i'll call this one as a prod city product image and i will just say a C R O U S C L cursor and the dart file and let's create a stateless uh, widget over here and that will be a prod city product detail C R O U S C L product detail uh, I guess it should be of the product detail image I M A G image cursor and let's import this one and I'll be importing a material over here and over here we'll take off the uh, final and I'll take a list of the uh, string so this will be our list of the string and I'll call it as uh, images and also i'll take another parameter of the uh not the this one so it should be of a b o o l bool and that will be of a each out of stock so i can say if it is out of stock or not so once we have this for two field over here let's go and uh, set it as a required field over here so the first one will be of the uh, required will be this dot the images and then the required uh, another one is this dot the each out of stock and let me add the comma over here so once we have that and uh, let's go and copy the code from the uh, github url over here so what you can do is let me just copy this one bottom center dot and the bottom left count so you can just copy this code from here so just copy the code from here and uh, let's go back over here and that will be of a product image cursor and from here i'll just return that one over here so let me arrange this one properly first of all and let me import the package and uh, then let's close this one over here and uh, you can see that we can uh, set a different parameter over here the first is the images the list of the images color of the box uh, what color you want right and the mm, position text uh, the style so you can create a different style for your text 
and then the box fit you can set it as a field cover right and you can say whether you want to auto play that particular slider right you want to auto play it or not and then you can set the dot color whether you want to set a different color which is of default is i set to the white color and the dot type you can say around it and then you have uh, another option as the circle or the rounded so you can select a different type and each out of stock is true or false so you can just copy this one each from the each out of stock and then the out of stock text so what text do you want to print out if that particular um, the the stock is out of so what you want to show as a text and out of text style so you can uh, style this particular text that you are passing it over here and for this one let's uh, we are, since we are hard coding we'll just say uh c hard c o d e d hard coded right and let me import this one from the package and that should be fine so once we have set up all of this you can also set up the uh like uh the height and the width for this one over here so you can set the height for this one and uh, for now we just leave it as it we don't want to set the particular the, the height and uh, then once we have this particular uh, image cursor setup let's go to the product detail screen over here and let us call that particular uh, from here so the uh, prod you see the product detail we have the image also and we need to pass in the image as well as we need to pass in the each out of stock from here so let us set up this one over here let's add the condition over here that will be of our product that we have dot the quantity and if the product quantity is less than equals to of the zero then we'll say that this is of the true and if it is of the list then we'll just say this is of the false over here and once we have set up this we need to navigate to this particular product uh, detail screen from our product screen so let's go over here and let's wrap this one or the card with our uh, the widget and let's wrap this one with the uh, gsgur gesture detector over here and i will just say on the uh, on tab over here on top of field this we'll just go and navigate over here since we are using the go router so i'll just say go uh, go router over here and go router dot of uh of go router right so go our -E router dot of context and here i'll just go and push it so push the location so location will be of the uh, let's go and grab the location so let me go to the uh, router over here and we have a pro, uh, go router provider and we need to go to our detail screen over here so let's go down over here and we have a detail screen and with this detail uh, what we need to provide over here is the id over here and let's go and grab this one from here and let's go to our product screen and here we need to push to the product uh, detail over here and we also need to pass in the id so id will be of the uh, what we have over here is the uh, data dot the id over here so we will pass in the id over there and once we pass in that id let's go to the uh, the core outer over here and here we need to provide the id so let's grab the id first of all final id and this id we need to get grab it from here for this i'll just use a uh, int i think it will be in dot the parse since we are passing as a string we need to pass it to this this uh, the int over here so it will be of a state dot i need to get the from over here so the state that the prompts and that prompts i need to pass in the id that we are providing and i will just say that to string so i guess that should be fine over here and uh, if you take a look over here this is the id that we are passing it from here right we are 
grabbing the ID and since this is ID so I need to grab that ID from here and once we have this ID I need to pass in over here ID and that will be of the ID that we are providing so once we have uh, set up this one we can actually run our application and we can test it out and once the application is running you can just go to the product and it will load the list of the product for you and you can just select any of this product and it will take you to the product detail over here and you can see it has loaded as the product cursor for us so we have a nice slider over here and we have this particular counter over here and then we also have the dot over here and if you take a look on that particularly over here if you want to test if you want to pause the uh, manual if you don't want to have the autoplay you can just set it to false and if you want to have the out of stock currently it is passing it over here i can just say as a hard code for now as a true to check how it looks like over there and also if you want to uh, change this one so currently we have a button center that is the dot count on the button center and then we have the button left that is for the counter so i can change this one to the button right and uh, let's try to uh, hot reload the application from here and let us take a look so when you have out of stock it will show you this particular uh, widget on top of this particular image and now we have changed this particularly the uh, the counter over here you can place this counter on the top right and the top left top center and the top left away uh, bottom left and the bottom right so uh, you can place it on the different location and once we have this i'll just uncomment or uh, uh, let's go back to how it was over here and just I will change this one to the uh, bottom right over here and uh, make sure to check out this one on the github repo and if you find it useful and if you want to use it in your own or the personal on the uh, project you can also use it from here and make sure to give me a star if you like and if it is useful for your application so I guess that's all for this lesson and in this lesson we added the uh, image cursor over here and we used the uh, custom uh, plugin or the custom package that I have created. So that's all for this lesson and we will meet up in the next lecture. Till then have a great day.